Welcome back. We are here with an apartment speed build and I am just going to delete the apartment that is already in here so that we can get going on changing some things inside it. It's kind of annoying that I can't just delete the walls. You have to like delete one on the edge and then delete the rest because it won't let you delete the outside walls. It thinks you're trying to, but anyway. We are going to start by making this all one room and making everything uniform so that we can actually get started. And then we are going to start thinking about the floor plan. That was actually the hardest part of this, I think. And that's one of the hard things with apartments is that the floor plan, I mean, the shape of the, the apartment is already determined for you. So you're kind of limited in what you can do with the floor plan. Like I had an idea of what I wanted to do and then I was really trying to think about how I was going to enact it within this shape. And I actually looked at a few different apartments in the game to try and see what my options were, whether I, you know, what apartment would be best for the floor plan I had in mind. And I ended up choosing this one. It fit the best out of all of them. And then I wanted to try and use these filters, so I chose the modern filter, and honestly, I'm not even sure that I consider some of the stuff in here modern, like, it's got one couch that it considers modern, and it's the eco lifestyle one, and I'm not really sure that I agree with that, but we're just going to wing it. So I started with the walls, and now we're moving into the doors. I like this door with the little windows on it because it, like, kind of gives us gives a semblance of privacy, but at the same time has those cool cutouts in it. I'm not sure that I would want my bedroom door to have cutouts in it, but the Sims don't notice things like that, so I don't really care. And then we're going into wallpapers, and I wanted to choose something fun and with like a pattern on it. And then we're going to choose this other like wood texture for the kitchen area and then adding in columns everywhere because I, I didn't think you know you can't just like change the color of the wallpaper there has to be some sort of differentiation there so I added in the columns and then we are going to add in wallpaper in the other rooms different themes one room is pink one room has the black and white one room has a greenish color and then the bathrooms are going to get this like marble flooring and also the kitchen area. I actually wish I used that flooring more often. I think it's really nice. And then we're going to start with our little entryway here. Adding in some lighting and then moving over to the kitchen. We'll decorate the entry in a second. The, there wasn't really modern, quote unquote, modern things in the kitchen section, so we had to like click off of that for a second but we'll go back to it for the decorating items and then we're going to choose uh, the cheat move objects on so we can get the sink a little closer to the counters and then I am going to have a sim go and test that you can still use the sink even though I moved it really close to the counters and the counters are gonna go all the way over to there where we're gonna put a fridge just to take up the space. I'm actually going to change that fridge in a minute, but um, then we're going to have like a little island and a trash can just somewhere for the Sims to sit. And then I wanted, you know, the trash can to stay inside the marble flooring. Then chairs. Again, no modern options, but I chose blue because I was thinking that we would have, you know, blue be our accent color over here. Again, with the same lighting. I really like those lights. I think they look nice. It's hard to use them in places that don't have tall ceilings, but luckily this does. Then we're going to change out the appliances for black, stove, fridge, eventually a dishwasher, fire alarm, and then... Actually, I don't even think I put the fire alarm in there after all. But anyway, we are, the problem with tall wall heights is finding a way to decorate the walls. Like that's a lot of wall space to fill up. So that was one of the tough parts. And so we're going to run into that in quite a few places. So right here, I'm just looking through all of the modern 
wall decorations so we can figure something out and you know there are a couple of options but I chose some uh, like those little fishies for over the fridge and then just some um, you know art and stuff I wanted to choose I didn't want to use the posters because I felt like they you know because they were a little beat up looking so I didn't want to use that but we're going to add in the dining area over next to the kitchen and just put something on there and a nice little um, you know bar thing I, I don't know what the just like a what are those called like alcohol bottle display. <laughs> anyway, um, I actually thought that, that was a little coat for a second, but it's actually a dish towel, so I took it out. And then we're going to add in some more wall decorations. Again, like I said, I feel like the tough part is filling up the walls because they there's, there's so much wall. Like it's so much, and I don't want it to just be blank all the way up. So, you know. Over here is going to be the living area and I'm going to add in a fireplace and then we're going to have, you know, couches, TV, all that fun stuff. So two chairs here don't quite line up. There we go. And then some decorations. I actually really think the plants look nice in this, um, this place because I tried to choose, you know, a lot of like white with accent color so I feel like the plants really made the space more lively I guess so we're gonna add in this huge thing and I have to use cheats to get it up on the wall where I want it to be but I just thought that there was just way too much blank space above the TV so that was that and then over here we're gonna have a little office bar area so we're going to add in a desk and chair right in front of the window here and then we are going to have a bookshelf as well right there I actually really like this bookshelf because of the plant on it and then we're also going to add in a bar I didn't really know exactly what bar I wanted to use and where to put some of the skill items one of the bedrooms is actually gonna have a few skill items in it like You'll see, it's it's a mood, but um, I wanted to use the modern bar, but it's just way too big. So we choose a smaller one here. I think that it's still matched. So we're going to use that and then put some decorations around some plants and then something on the wall as well. And then just change the color of that. So it's the same art piece, but it's in different colors. And then we are going to go and put some lighting around in the bedroom and bath bedrooms and bathrooms is three bed two bath this is the master over on this side we're just going to fill it up with you know a bathtub shower sink toilet um, and then a like really big decorative item actually I think I made the bathrooms a little large in this they don't really need to be that big but that's okay so again in here bathtub toilet sink then a shower gotta get some decorative plant items and of course a mirror that'll come in just a second here we go and then we are going to continue to try and decorate the walls and stuff but we are, will be moving on to the bedrooms I'm just putting the beds in the different rooms first making sure that you know we have all of the bed options and then of course I I chose this family that lived here as the playable family but I wasn't really planning on playing with them I just wanted to be able to take live mode screenshots so I added money to their household because I'm building this house and I don't really care about them they actually have a very large household. I mean, that's what you ha what you get when you have MCCC on. But um, anyway, this bedroom has like green color in it, green and white. And um, it's the master. 
So it has a ensuite bathroom and we are just going to add in a little carpet, make it look nice, add in some plants, mirror, typical bedroom stuff. We're going to put a closet over here and then move on to the other bedrooms. This bedroom is kind of for a, um, what do you call it? Like a, a photographer, athletic. It's like very much a sim that I would imagine who had apartment living like with the clothes rack and then there's going to be a like place to take photos and there's also going to be a workout machine because we had room for it. So um, I definitely can imagine the type of sim that would have this as a room where they kind of, you know, have the clothing rack where they put clothes on people and then put them, you know, take their picture. But also this sim is... A little vain and wants to make sure that they're always in shape and stuff so that's kind of what I went for there and then there's a kids room with the two beds and just some kids items like a crafting station a dollhouse a desk um, mirror all that fun stuff and more crafty the kids room is definitely more crafty than the other rooms so like the kids make the little plant out of popsicle sticks, plant holder out of popsicle sticks, stuff like that. So um, I think that the kids are really crafty and have lots of posters and it's really fun. So that is pretty much it. Again, three bed, two bath. We're heading into screenshots here. Here's the entryway and then the kind of just the rest you can see over here. The dining area, the kitchen area is coming up next, and then the living room area before we get into all the bedrooms. And I just want to say thank you for watching. I did not upload this to the gallery because you know how apartments are with the gallery, um, but I can figure it out if anybody really wants it. So I will catch you guys next time.